What's going on everybody? Today I'm gonna step out of my comfort zone and play with a tank. This is the Hang Long M1A2 Abrams tank for 299 bucks and I'm gonna tell you great things about it, not so good things about it, and bottom line. It Who doesn't want to play with a tank right so i have a new partner they reached out to me motion rc and it turns out they are experts in flight airplanes and anything flying they are like the category killer but they see the opportunity in surface meaning cars tanks boats and so they said hey you seem like you are having fun with what you're doing so they want to work with me but what's cool about their site is it's very helpful very easy to navigate a lot of reviews and really insightful reviews not just like you know two liners and then when you actually buy something they really support you you know they they ask you how you're doing uh, if you need anything etc so that's what they're famous for hopefully they'll bring that into the surface world so it turns out there's two versions of this a, a 300 dollars version this one professional and a i think it's called upgrade edition for $200. So what you get with the Professional is a very strong drivetrain uh, metal belt and also the, the wheels the, uh, are all metal, very heavy, very realistic, more durable, uh, metal gears and all that. So, so this is the one, but everything else I think is the same. So if you're in a budget, go for the $200 one. If you want something 10 pounds, $300 one. So you turn it on, turn on the transmitter and then you start. So 270 degrees, it goes up to here. I wish it was 360, but it doesn't. And it makes that, that clicking sound, okay? And then the turret, about 30 degrees of articulation. Okay, not too high, not too low. And then the, uh, the motion is controlled by your right stick really good control on this thing check that out huh and then you can turn it obviously and one track will oh wow uh, five levels of sound i believe right there so let me start it again since the startup is so awesome. They said it has four sounds, but I could only figure out uh, two sounds. One is a turbine and one is uh, like a diesel. And since this is an M1 turbine, right? So you start it up. And no other vehicle uh, benefits from, a, from sound than a tank. You know, I think the 18 wheelers, they do really well with sound too. Crawlers and fast cars, it doesn't really uh, matter that much it kind of annoys other people but this one it just adds so much to the experience and has the best sound so as when you accelerate oh so the clatter of the wheels goes through the engine it's so proportional brakes it breaks too and you could hear it okay so here's the gun that I wanted to show you, right here. The remote is pretty basic. It looks good, but it, it's kind of, doesn't ha match the same quality as this. This is pretty darn high quality. By the way, there's a Tamiya model. That's an M1A2 Abrams tank for $1,200. And from what I could tell in the pictures, it looks about the same. So this for 300 with this kind of quality, this paint, pretty amazing. Okay, so gun, so cool. Two different types of machine gun sounds and then 
it has the coolest part of this tank is the gun you know the uh, the gun and the I think you call this the turret it uh, let's see it has the gun has recoil and the whole tank has recoil uh, I don't know how to do it they probably have a servo or a motor uh, to do it so you press these two at the same time uh-huh there's a BB mode of this so what they use for the gun so you, if you don't have to shoot bullets but it has that realistic feel it's so cool and that's when I when I tell you the sound is a big deal because of that switch it and then so now what we're doing is instead of the instead of the motion gun it's a real airsoft gun but there you go that's the coolest thing ever it can keep any kid or adult entertained for days okay so now we're gonna go through pros and cons the pro is it's so realistic for three hundred dollars or two hundred dollars the quality on it you know the um, the detail is impressive the paint too looks like it's airbrushed the other pro is the sound and the lights are super cool uh, these lights you can turn off and on and they indicate I believe uh, braking as well the tracks are really good metal tracks um, on this expensive one I think it's it's plastic on the cheaper one so nice weight to it uh, it's very realistic independent suspension I don't know how they do it the third pro is the main gun is so cool um, it's got an airsoft machine inside and that's what shoots but you don't have to shoot because uh, you keep spreading these these pellets around you can just uh, you can just have that mock oh, the other cool thing about this big thing is there's so many options you know you really this one you really got to read the manual because there's so many options volume uh, smoke the um, the different sounds the the different recoil these details too you just press on you can glue some of them on if you if you think they're gonna fall off uh, I think I have one part here that's falling off where um, it takes about an hour so it's cool gets you involved in your in your vehicle okay what's not good so the battery that it comes with is a bit small this is what I see in small vehicles this is a 10 pound vehicle to have a battery this small is not good also this thing doesn't balance on me uh, from the factory it was you know two tenths of a volt off so you know I don't trust it as much I'm using a different one uh, the, the cavity is a little bigger than this I think believe this is 1800 milliamp hours they should have a 3000 for this um, the other weakness is it's a lithium but it doesn't have a lipo cutoff um, or so when you put a lipo battery in here uh, you, you're gonna have to watch your own time it's not gonna shut off on you to protect the battery and the, so what they say in the manual is hey play with it for two minutes and stop the other weakness is the manual is confusing so you have two of these why are there two this one is the one that you really need this is the V7 I think this has gone through many versions but check this out <laughs> it sucks I just put it aside but it turns out you really need it you know to change your uh, uh, your volume your your lighting you're not gonna be able to figure it out looking at this thing you re it's, it's a bunch of combinations such as another weakness uh, on my wheels one of my wheels that you see in running video it, yeah it, it came yeah, off the, the cover came good. off on right here uh, I, and I think I, there was no Loctite in it so after like two or three battery uh, packs it uh, it just dislodged and I had to Put it back on another weakness is the on off switch is quite inconvenient so they were i think the on off switch used to be on the bottom but they put it on top for some reason so it's right under the turret unfortunately so right here is your on off switch boom another weakness is the charging is a bit inconvenient it's held on by the screw so you have to turn it upside down get the battery out every time every two minutes they say check the running video and I think my bottom line conclusion oh, is it worth it and is it fun really will have a lot to do with how it performs right all right all right here's some running video we have some sound on five different levels of sound it can be very loud or it can be loud Pretty easy to maneuver. 
not the fastest, but at pretty good speed. So not enough to do some jumps, but enough to have fun articulate that suspension. Couple sound modes on this, and we're gonna use the turbine mode since that's what the M1 A2 Abrams uses. Goes through an even terrain very well, as long as that plastic front clears it. Those tracks do really well. Yes. Here is a big rope, and you can see. The suspension action on this really realistic very smooth nice weight 10 pound vehicle here here is the turning radius of the vehicle <laughs> with a switch you can have a very rapid turn mode where the tracks spin in different directions right there Exactly what tanks good at. And even terrain. So we're gonna use rapid turn mode. Makes this thing a pretty agile machine. And now we're gonna test the gun. So we have a just a sound mode, sound effects. And then you can have the very soft 6mm BB mode. That works well too. That thing really shoots pretty far. It's, it's got some velocity. We've seen this where they use steel BBs and it goes a pretty long way and not swayed by the wind so much. Over here, it hits that fence, but it does start to wander. It swings right with the spin and the light weight of the airsoft. But very cool. The gun doesn't go too high and a bigger issue is it doesn't go low enough so if you're trying to hit something on the ground pretty close by it's got a limit to how low it can aim the gun I love the agility of this vehicle a lot of options on trim, top speed turning radius here you see the articulation of the wheels and the suspension. Very nice detail. The gunner on top. It looks like a green army man. It really should be painted. He's probably the most amazing part of this equation. But the sound of the metal wheels, metal tracks, and the sound effects really blends together quite well. And here we're gonna play with a Ruko tank, an agile little beast. We'll see if we can shoot it. There is a delay in shooting it since you have to press the two buttons and it, it kind of waits one second before it shoots. But we were able to hit this target quite a few times. So fun. Worth noting that 
this vehicle is an infrared mode so if you have two tanks um, you could do a battle with infrared that way the other tank is going to be honest when you hit it and you could use score points that way there's smoke there so the smoke is interesting about four drops it lasts about an hour but it's not so easy to put on and I think a lot of people will have problems with the directions where you have to tilt the vehicle uh, to get the smoke in so we had a little problem with the wheel the bolt got loose we went off track and we had to tighten it and right here we climb something gradual and then we descend something this is actually pretty steep and it has no problem so what did you guys think of the running video? you know so cool huh? sorry I was just in my backyard um, uh, I'll, I'll get this on another run I, I, I really wanted to test the limits first getting it dirty and whatnot you know will the tracks hold up but bottom line for either 200 or 300 it is so cool you know <laughs> who wouldn't want this I'm pretty stoked I'm pretty stoked that I was introduced to this thing and I think me and my friends are gonna have a lot of fun with it oh and they all have kids too uh, they're gonna have a blast with it I think all right thanks for the time guys Ha <laughs> ha